everyone, welcome back to Rachel and Bella Crafts, Rachel here. Um, in today's tutorial I am going to be showing you how I made this um, double pocket flip, I think we're going to call it. Um, and basically it is a large um, envelope and a smaller envelope cut in half. And we are going to use uh, grommets and um, the loop rings to make it a flip. So you've got a writing space and you will then have a pocket here and a pocket here. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, so the first thing that we'll need is um, a junk mail envelope or a windowed envelope, I should say. Um, and what I have done is I've cut it down to ensure that it will uh, fit onto my journal page. So um, let me just give you quickly the dimensions of this one here. So the one that I've done here is um, just over 18 centimetres, which is, oh, is saying thing on either side? Look, I was going to give you an inches and it's centimetres both sides. Okay, so we're doing centimetres today. <laughs> 18 by 10 and a half. Right, okay. <laughs> it's my blonde moment for the afternoon. Right, and this is 18 and a half by... Um, by 11 and a quarter but that's fine so I double checked it out with the page I'm quite happy with that that's why I don't do measuring you see um, and then aside to this one then we will need um, an, a small standard envelope as well um, like I say I cut um, quite a bit off the bottom because obviously the, the envelope it was a, it was a long um, slim one so I, I cut that down to shape ready um, and then I will do the same now with this one because um, I only need half of it um, and you'll notice my envelope is coffee dyed um, that's not necessity that's just my choice to do this because obviously I'm doing a boho journal so I just think it feels nice okay so that's um, before you start so I'll try and make sure that your small envelope is the same size same width as your large envelope because the first one that I did earlier on I did it all and collaged it all nice and then realized it was too long so the first thing we're going to do is uh, just quickly um, collage on to the envelopes. Um, I'm just using some of the papers that I'm working with here. So I've got um, some pages here from the kit from Line Arrow, the Bohemian Dreams, which is what I've been working with. Um, and I am also using some uh, music paper. Um, I'm using some writing paper from our... Um, French floral embroidery um, kit with our French invoices because um, I think that'll make a nice background and I've also cut up some pieces of um, Edith Holden and um, some of our Blue Hues collaging pages so I'm sure we won't need to use all of these but it's just nice to have some options there ready isn't it so let me just quickly put these into place Okay, so I've got my pieces ready now. I'm just going to um, ink around the edges that will be um, seen. That makes sense. Um, and then uh, I'll just give them a bit of definition then. Make everything complete. So I hope everybody's really well. Um, if I managed to get this done a little bit quicker today I would have been saying oh the sun is out but it's gone again I don't know it seems to be playing a bit of a game of hide and seek with us at the moment I don't quite know why because it is the end of May I think we've had two dry days in the last like three weeks all right that might be a slight exaggeration maybe we've had four dry days but I really don't think they have been it's been um it's been a very wet May to say the least but uh, they do say that we've got some better weather coming in so I hope they're right because we certainly need some anybody who's got arthritis or achy joints this cold weather is really not nice so uh, we can't go away to any warmer climates. We need the warm weather to come here and sort it out. There we go. Right, so I'm just going to um, play. 
place these now onto the envelope. And then, um, do I want that on top there? Yeah, okay. Just trying not to overthink it. And then once we've collaged these then, um, you can then make a choice as to whether or not you want to uh, finish with um, stitching on the machine or um, you can faux stitch with the pen um, that's entirely up to you but you can think about that then when we get this bit done and also um, how you may then want to decorate it so obviously I'm doing a, a boho themed journal so that's made this quite easy for me because I know I want lots of colour, lots of textures and um, for it all to be nice and bright. So hopefully that's what we managed to achieve. It's not too short there now, is it? No, I think we're going to just do that. Let me just ink that bit there. Whew! The skin of our teeth. There we go. So I afraid I don't have any exciting news to share about doing fabulous things because <laughs> I haven't been anyway. Went to church yesterday morning. That was nice. It's nice to see people and um, my brother is the, uh, the pastor and it was his birthday yesterday so that was quite nice. Um, obviously though we weren't able to sing happy birthday in church which was quite bizarre and no cake and tea but never mind. Um, but the mum and dad we were able to go out for a nice meal with him and uh, my sister and all and their children afterwards, so it was nice. Um, getting a bit of normality back now, I guess. All right, so I'm just gonna cut off now the uh, any edges just to make it nice and neat. There we go, and then we can go over it then, give it a final ink. Um, yeah, so, sorry, I should have said at the start, I was inspired to do this pocket by um, Teal and Tattered. Um, she did a lovely um, uh, double pocket she did on hers. So we're going to just do a single one, but she did a double one. And um, I love her style anyway, it's, it's always so pretty. She uses lots of uh, lovely pastel colours, doesn't she? And then um, she was working on a boho spring journal on her video. I will link it below so you can go and check that out because um, she's very, very talented and she's got some lovely um, digital kits as well. Um, but yeah, so, and I believe she got her idea from, and I gotta get this right now, uh, she was inspired for the idea by the windowed envelope flip from Wendy and then she got the idea of the loops. Oh, I knew I should have written it down. Flip. I can't think of the girl's name now. But um, the links will be in the videos anyway. I will put them in so you can see kind of where this has grown from. This is not a... a I haven't dreamed this up or anything this is um just a modification of other ideas right so that's the first one done the only other thing that we might want to look at on here now is um <laughs> i'm glued this down now i no let the that uh, yep we don't want that behind me that's not nice yuckily okay let's have a look so we've got some of natalie's paper I, you know what, i absolutely love this page um, when my journal is over, I won't be surprised if there's going to be a little bit of this page on every page because I absolutely, I hope you can see that really clearly on there. I know it's on vellum, but it is a stunning, stunning kit. Um, and I think most of the thing I've done pockets and stuff and I've done loads of things with this, this um, pattern, but it's lovely. It's one of the backing pages and it's really, really pretty. Okay, so I'm just going to take this away in a minute and then I'm going to come in here, see where I want it. I'm just gonna say I could have sworn the top was open. See, that's what happens when you start losing a bit of glue, everything ends up sticky or stuck, I should say. Now that's 
I like that image there, I do. Right, okay, I'm going to cut into it then, I'm sorry. Okie dokie, bear with a minute now. Let me just centre that on there. Okay. Now it's entirely up to you if you want to um, line the inside of the envelope. Ugh, personally speaking, I really don't think there's any need because you're not going to be able to see it anyway. It's a top feeding pocket, so um, you know you, you shouldn't be able to see what's inside. Um, so I wouldn't worry too much about you know don't use extra paper for paper's sake. I always think um, right that's very nice, but I need something behind that now because it's losing some of the colour. So what I might just do is pop a little bit of this behind there. Just some dyed paper. Just tidy that edge up. And then that should provide us with a bit of a backdrop. Here we go. Now we got a better visual then of the lovely patterned paper behind. So let's go for about there I think. Okay, let me just cut that down and then we can glue that in. There we go, keep those bits of vellum for later. And let's just see where this is going to go again now before I do me glue in. I'm happy with that. Okay. Sit there a minute. We've um, we started watching. Uh, I don't know if I've said this before. Uh, Line of Duty. Um, gosh, about two weeks ago now, I think. Um, we we not we we like a, a, a series on the TV or on Netflix, but we tend to wait until it's done, so that we can like. You know, watch them all. <laughs> binge watch, I think that's the expression, isn't it? Um, so yeah, we've been binge watching uh, Line of Duty. Uh, if you're not in the UK, it's a you. It was on. Um, I think it was on the BBC. I'm not quite sure actually. Um, yeah, it's a point. How are we watching it? I don't know. <laughs> I leave the other half to deal with the technical stuff. He just says it's on and I go in and sit and watch it. But um, yeah, it's a British programme and it's uh, all about um, uh, police officers, obviously. And it's about the uh, corruption squad and this like, this on, um, ongoing investigation into this like big ring of um, police officers who are... Um, being bribed basically and you know well corrupt that's the word I'm looking for and uh, it's it's really good but uh, there's six series and they all like follow on from each other but uh, it's funny because we watch it and like I mean I'd sit and watch them all all night I'm terrible like, once I find something good to watch I'll just sit and keep watching them whereas my other half said no come on you should go to bed now we'll watch another one tomorrow <laughs> we're gonna run out of things to watch so I'm like no mm, we gotta go to bed Yes, so uh, it's, um, it's it's been really interesting, but it's funny because watching them obviously year by year for them, and then um, you know we're we're switching on to the next series the next night, and they all look like a year older or two years older, or like the one's got a new beard, or <laughs> so that's been quite funny. But but yeah, no really serious drama though. It's, it's it's really good. Very much enjoyed that. And then when I do go to bed at night, then because I don't sleep. Netflix goes on quietly and uh, I've been watching um, Homeland and that is a, uh, a US uh, programme, I'm sure somebody have seen that. I've been fascinating watching that, I really enjoyed that with uh, Claire Danes and Damien Lewis who is uh, actually British. But yeah, it's really, um, really gripping. So when we first went into lockdown I was watching loads of uh, like period dramas and um, history, um, you know, films about um, monarchs and things like that. I think I, think I did um, 
Queen Elizabeth I, watched a load of different things about her, and uh, Mary Queen of Scots, watched a load of stuff about her. It was all very interesting. And then I got into the Medici, and that was good, and a lot of other things. And then it just like ran out of stuff then on Netflix, so I got into this now. But yeah, it's very good. It keeps me awake at night, which I probably shouldn't be doing, but there we go. Right, okay, so this is ready to go on now. So I'm just collaging now the uh, small envelope. Now, what I just want to, um, oh, I hope I don't forget now, because I'm gonna say this out loud and I'll feel really stupid, I do forget. But I need to make sure I remember to put something on the back before I finish it off. Oh, and of course, there was something else I should have done first, which was glue down my flap, but I can do that in a second when I turn it over. Because um, obviously it doesn't matter about the back of this one, because we won't be seeing that. But this you will. <clears throat> oh, sorry. All squeaky then. Um, yeah. So, just get that in there a minute. And then, that last piece there. I've got another um, vintage fair coming up now on the weekend on uh, Instagram. So, I'm trying to get a few of these done today because I've got to get on my fabrics ready now tomorrow and take all the photographs it's great doing these um instagram fairs because obviously with covid everything would have come to a stop but somebody like myself i would not come across them before um and the great thing is about it, it whereas in the past a location would have um you know you'd have lost out because you weren't nearby or whatever so like with estate sales and things like that um it doesn't matter with instagram because everybody's got access to it and we're all posting stuff anyway so so that's been um, great. It's just, uh, I had underestimated, I think, at the start, how much time um, staging and taking all the photographs of the stock actually takes. And it's like two days of work. It's crazy, absolutely crazy. Um, and if you don't have very good light as well. So it's like trying to jump on it when we get a bit of nice weather forecast. My house doesn't face it in a great direction for, for sunlight really um, so it, it never seems to be pouring in through the window um, right this is where I meant by gluing down the flap because we don't need this flap to be open we want it to be a pocket so you can glue that shut there now just make sure you don't glue that bit there to the back of the underneath if that makes sense what I mean right um, I just want to add something on here to, I think I might use a bit of this, just so it looks a bit different on the back. I promised I wasn't going to over first, so I mustn't. Okay, let's just stick that down. glued today. Not super gluey I should say, not super glued. Right, so let's just move all those scraps out of the way. Let's just cut this now um, flush. Neaten up my edges. Okay there. Um, and there. And 
て。Right, okay, so we've done the large envelope and we've done the small envelope. Just a quick reminder before you move on, don't forget to ink your edges because you have just trimmed them as well. Um, now, this bit now is optional. You can stitch around the outside if you want to. You don't have to. If you don't have a sewing machine and you can't, then don't worry about it. It's entirely optional. Um, I'm going to stitch around the edge of mine um, and I will be back in a moment. Okay, so in back, um, all stitched. Um, what I did, should mention as well at this point is, first of all, obviously we're just stitching around those three edges, I should have said, sorry, um, because I'm going to be uh, putting um, grommets in the side here, so we're not gonna use it as a side envelope. But that said, you could use it as a side pocket if, like myself, you're only going to put one of these envelope flip flaps on because um, you'll only be putting the grommets in the one side. So you could choose to leave it as a, a side slide um, like this one does. So that's entirely up to you. Again, just for you to have a think about a variation of that there. Um, the other thing for you to think about as well, if you're going to stitch your edges, we are going to be adding um, a grommet in and then using the um, the links. Oh, I can't remember what these are called again now. I'm going to just call them links because they're little links. Um, they're not very big. So that there needs to be able to... Um, what's the word I'm looking for? Go around? That's not the right word. It's a better word for it than go around, but... Um, oh, it'll come to me in a minute. Anyway, it needs to be able to go all the way around and move. So you don't want it really tight. So don't you don't want your stitching like halfway down here and then you're having to put your grommet like further in because this will not reach. So you need to just think about that when you put in your holes in as well. But you've only got that much give. So let's have a little look then. Um, again, deciding on which side you want your flap to flip or rather which side of the page you're going to want it on. Well, I've got one on that side. So I think this time I'm going to do one the other way. So, first thing I did, what I did as well, I put my holes in at the same time. That's the other thing, if that makes sense. So make sure that they are square on top of each other. And then take your cropper dial. I found this lock button now and now I can't ever get it off. <laughs> These things we think are going to help us, sometimes they just really don't. Maybe that's why I wasn't using it before. Ah, there we go. Okay, I'm free. All right, so we've got the, um, that's the one eighth. That's not the one we want. We want the three sixteenth side. Well, that's the side I'm going to use anyway, because that's the side of my, size of my um, grommets. Oh my gosh, it's gone ever so dark. I'm sorry, I hope you can see. Um, okay, and then just carefully looking down the side. We're gonna go one. And then two. There we go. Right, come on out of the way. There we are. Right, obviously don't put your um, grommets through or they one on top of the other, because that would rather defeat the object. Or they would just be grommeted together, and that's not good. I'm certain. Oh, I don't know if you can hear my dog, he's snoring in his bed. He's so lazy. Yeah, because it's rained all weekend, he just stares at the door, open the door and says, Taff, do you want to go out to go to the toilet? And he just lies in and looks at you. <laughs> of course, the kids are quite underwhelmed because we've had Puppy Bella in here for six months. And um, I mean, Dan, every time he'd come running in from school, he'd want a Bella hug. And she'd jump up enthusiastically to greet him and oblige. But of course, he comes in, he's like, Taffy! And Taff just barely lifts his head up. He's like, what do you want? <laughs> Leave me alone, I'm trying to sleep. Very underwhelmed, <laughs> as older dogs tend to be. There we go, so grommets are in. Right, now this is the super tricky bit.
Okay, that should not have looked as hard as it did. <laughs> I should explain. I have rheumatoid arthritis, so gripping things for me is just not always as simple as it is for everybody else. Uh, that's why I sped it up, because that was just really painful. I one flew across the room at one point as well. Oh dear, you had to be there really, but there we go. Okay, so it's done. Look, it's all working. It's flipping and it's flapping and it's cool. Look at that. What do you reckon to that then? So, got a pocket in there. With a lovely little window. You've got a pocket in here. And then you've got a flippy flap for the journal on the back of as well. And that then will stick very nicely into... Let me just grab my boho journal. Sorry for stretching. There we go. Into our lovely new journal. Oh, look at that. I, do you know what? I can't bring myself to put anything in here. I'm so pleased with how this journal has gone together. And the pages and these lovely... Um, these are beetroot dyed pages in here. I haven't showed you this yet, have I? Oh, I might do a flip through one day. Let's see. That might. They'll probably have loads of stuff in there by then. But... Um, I won't do it without you, I promise. We've even got some genuine vintage ephemera in this one. Look at that, guys. Is that from 1928 from France? Casablanca? Monsieur Templer. So, yeah, that's handwritten on the back of there. But um, oh, I'm just so pleased with this beet dyed paper. It is lovely. And then we've got this lovely kit then from Line Dot Arrow in here. Is also as lovely, very inspiring. We've got some handmade paper, not made by my hands, just handmade paper that's come from Mum Shop, <laughs> you know, my favourite place. More of the lovely uh, design kit. But I wanted to make sure I left lots of space in this journal for writing um, and also for pockets because, in case you hadn't yet picked up on my theme theme is pockets. So we've got two lovely signatures in here filled with lots and lots of, oh, that's that page I was telling you about, isn't that lovely? Just filled with lots and lots of space for journaling and for adding lots of pockets. More ephemera, there's a vintage uh, ledger page as well. So there's some bits to collage in here. Um, we're going to try and do it with lots of flips and tucks and whatever else. It's a very old hymn page there that I've reinforced with um, some linen. And another lovely page. But what I like about this journal is the page is lie flat. You can see me doing a hardcover one like this again because um, it's just so lovely to, to work with and I haven't cut all my pages uh, uniform either on the ends and um, there are some that you know don't noticeably stick out but I've, I didn't want them all um, this exactly the same size I want it to look um, what's the word I'm looking for Oh, golly, I need to swallow a dictionary, don't I? I can't think of any of my words today. Well, just more like it would have done. But again, I can't think of the word I'm looking for. <laughs> I'm sorry if you've tuned in today. This is the channel that is run by somebody who doesn't know what she's on about. <laughs> right, anyway, the reason I own the journal was to say, doesn't that just look fab in there? There we go. So, nice big tag in the top of there now with a... Um, a bit of boho trim on there and then a nice flip and you could in fact glue it just on uh, the top and the bottom behind so you could have additional uh, tuck space behind then so I might think about that later on but um, I, at the moment I'm just storing all of my stuff up ready to go in because I just love this empty journal I think it just looks awesome my journals never look like that it was like really 
wide mouth and everything else but there we are okay so there we are it's as simple as that guys now the only thing i haven't mentioned yet is uh embellishing so what i started to do earlier on um as you can see with this one i've just simply added some boho trim there and i made um a ruffle and i've added that on there out of some um sari material and then this is another mini pocket i was working on earlier on so i've again added a, a little trim on there um, and then this one here uh, with the same. So for this one, I think I wanted to add this lovely purpley ruffle because the colour is the same as this here. So I might that's it. That's the right way around. Actually, I look like that side. Ooh. No, that'll annoy me because it's inside out. I'll have to do it that way. I want to see. Right, and then. Rather lovely. We could pop that down in the corner there just to add to the boho theme. And I love this little bit of frill on the bottom of there. So I'm going to try and just leave that overhang at the bottom. Um, and I'm going to just use a bit of boohoo for this because the other stuff makes a bit of a mess with um, the sorry sock. So I'll just chuck that on there. Chuck, please. My goodness. firmly in place there. There we go, a little bit of bling. And then I will have to use the fat protect for the, the ruffle. And I just don't want it to be too high, but we want that to hang over a little bit. Okay, should be enough to keep that in place. And that teal, uh, isn't a teal thread lovely? Mum gave me that yesterday. No, Saturday, I think it was. Again, Mum's shop. She sent me home with a little plastic tub full of um, uh, embroidery threads. And she's, she's, of course, she's had her up. I think I told you. I'm never quite sure where I'm at now, but you know my mother up last week, so her eye is clearing by the day, and she's uh, she had quite an emotional weekend looking at all her um, beautiful uh, slow stitch projects that she's been working on. And that I've got to be honest, I am baffled how she's managed to do it, how she's been able to see, but the quality of work that she turns out is tremendous. Um, but of course, she was able to see it on the weekend with her uh, good eye and. Um, I think she was quite shocked herself at what she's managed to do. So that was a little for her. Um, thank you ever so much to everybody for all your, your kind messages. Um, it's really appreciated. Um, and she's hoping now for the next one to be done in a month. So it's going to be a bright summer, even if we don't get any sunshine. <laughs> there we go. So little gem on there, little ruffle there, and a bit of embellishment there. And I think we're done. So there we are, that's our two pocket flip or oh, something like that, you know me. There we go, I hope you enjoy it. If you do make some, um, pop some pictures up and uh, and tag me in them so I can uh, check them out because it's always great to see other people's interpretations of uh, the ideas that I'm putting on the channel. Um, and I will put the links down below as well to the girls um, whose other projects have obviously inspired um, where I've gone with this today. But um, Thanks for watching. Take care and I'll be back with you all soon. Bye now.